Over the last three devlogs, I've said I want to release my game Project Tarum by the end of March. Unfortunately, as discussed last week, I may have to push this back a little because I overestimated implementing performance improvements to the collision system. As I begin this devlog, I'm not sure how long this delay will be, but it depends how far I can take the collision system this week. If it goes well, then it may just be a week or two, but if it doesn't, then it may take over a month. Either way, we'll see at the end of this devlog, so stay tuned and wish me luck. How's it going everybody? I'm Lewis, also known as Skeffles, and welcome to the 42nd devlog for Project Tarum, my Iron Age Fantasy Town Defense game. As mentioned in the intro, last week I ran into some issues implementing performance improvements to the collision system. I really want to thank everyone that commented on that video, you gave me a lot of positivity, which has really given me a lot of motivation for this week, and many great ideas for other performance improvements I can do. One key thing that I discussed in the comments a few times is content pooling which is something I currently don't do, but I'm definitely going to look into soon. However, before I get into that, I need the collision system to work. At the moment, the collision system has a quad tree tacked onto it, which has made the game's performance bad at the best of times. I need to completely rethink how the collision system uses the quad tree to really make the most of it. If you can, like and subscribe now, it will really help keep my motivation up as I work through these changes. Checking in already and progress is looking great. I've basically stripped out all of the old collision system code as much of it is irrelevant when using a quad tree system. This really helped simplify the code interacting with the quad tree and I can't see any major issue with the performance in game. Loading up the test scene I've been testing performance on, I can barely tell the difference between the old system and the new. Looking at the numbers they are quite similar. The old system with all its performance improvements ran about 50 milliseconds. Whereas the new system, purely using a quad tree and no additional performance improvements, currently sits at 61. Whilst this seems bad because the new system takes longer, I am hopeful because there are a number of performance improvements I can try out with this new system that the old one just can't have. I think I'll spend the rest of the week trying to improve on this and testing the new system. It's come to the end of my development week and honestly I feel like I'm in quite a good place with the new collision system. In the test scene there is a noticeable lag, however not as noticeable as earlier on in the week. The numbers show the system takes about 16 milliseconds, which is 310% faster than the old system which I am really pleased with. Part of me wants to keep working on this system and reduce the lag further because I know I can. However I've got to remember the big picture and release the game. As such I've noted down improvements for the future and move quatries and collision into my done pile. With this complete, I think I can say this week went well and the delay to the release will probably only be about two weeks, so we're looking at mid-April, possibly the 19th since that will mark a year since I released the first devlog. As always, if this changes I'll let you know, but it seems about right, and I could always make updates after, as there's no point trying to perfect something that's never going to be released. What do you think of this plan? Let me know in the comments below. Before I get into my plans for next week, I want to mention my Twitch stream. Last week I streamed Rollercoaster Tycoon, which I really enjoyed, and even ended up streaming for an extra hour to finish the campaign. This week I will be streaming once again after this devlog airs, so that's 2.15gmt at twitch.tv forward slash scaffolds. Jump in and say hi. I hope to play the original Sims game, as it's another childhood favourite of mine, although it's proving a pain to set up, so don't be surprised if I'm playing something else when you join the stream, but hopefully it will be The Sims. The plans for next week are to finish up performance improvements to the game as a whole. As I mentioned earlier, content pooling is going to be key to this. I hope getting it sorted will fix the performance issues I'm seeing and get the game into a playable state. This is all very exciting, you don't want to miss out on any of it, so subscribe to get notified when the next devlog is released. I hope you've enjoyed watching this devlog for Project Arum, leave the video a like to let me know you did. Thank you and I'll see you next time.